Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm Robert Sherwood and I want to go over storm water management. So first let's talk about detention ponds and retention ponds. A detention pond is what you're seeing here. It's actually just beautiful lawn or landscape that's normally dry and doesn't hold water. Now I got a chance to shoot this video after a couple days of rain, all the parking lot water ran to this detention pond. Again, this is not normally holding water. If it did hold water all the time, that would be a retention pond. This is a detention pond. It would have swelled up even more. It could have even handled more water than what was in it. That was an engineered telephone pole because of how wet this does get during the rainy season. And this was a giant shopping plaza, and uh, I, I'm doing a walkthrough showing you how all the sheet water that comes off this parking lot ends up in the swale that goes around the parking lot. And there's some drains because it's such a big area that they have to have some catch basins, but these go right to the detention pond. And you can see here, just that that easy. So this is very common. Most people would see this and say, oh, we have flooding. We have flooding. No, that's a detention pond. It's meant to hold water. Water then is just taken into the ground or evaporates. And just over a short period of time, that water dries up and is gone. Now, again, if it was always holding water, it wouldn't be a detention pond. It'd be a retention pond. So that's the difference there. So let's take a ride down the road here, and let's follow where this water would go. If the water kept building up in that detention pond, it would overflow. It would overflow in the exact same system that was built for the highways here. The roads are crowded, the water just runs off, everything has drainage. If you're driving through the city, if you're driving in suburban, urban, or rural communities, everything has drainage, everything. There has been engineers that have thought this out, and through the years, we have really come a long ways. Stormwater management, is in my opinion perfected because of all the old infrastructure we have to catch up but they have it figured out to where we're not sending all this water to, to treatment plants we're taking care of storm water and we're managing it with detention ponds and retention ponds and we're letting it just basically go back into the environment as it was intended whether it's absorbed from the soil or evaporated or Say we had four or five days of rain and those detention ponds hit overflow and then they started to finally affect the rivers. See, that's storm water management. If it just started raining and everything was going to the river, everything was going to the creeks, you know, creeks, guess what? We're going to have flooding. That's why you need on site storage, you need storm drainage management. So here's a beautiful, beautiful example of a retention pond. I mean, this is a large retention area, and all the water during a flooding would end up here because those detention ponds would hit their overflow elevation, and it would then the water would start to leave that on-site location at a certain level, and it would end up in this retention pond in this area. So this... All you know, all the water coming off the roads, all the water that's you know overflowing from detention areas in the event of actual flooding would come here. Now there's wildlife here. We have swans. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. But this is doing it right. This is doing stormwater management the right way. I absolutely love it. I'm a junkie for it. But I just wanted to share this with people because I think f when they look at areas holding water, they're like, look at that. That's flooded. No, that was engineered to hold that water. That was engineered from day one before they uh, took the first scoop of dirt out of that you know, shopping mall building site. So 
All right, everybody, as always, I try to educate and answer all the questions in the comments sections, and hopefully you guys are learning a little bit of something because we actually use these techniques, believe it or not, in residential yards. We'll create little detention areas, and we'll do all kinds of tricks. There's a lot of things that I have yet to show you on the French Drain Man channel, and we look forward to you guys uh, coming along for the ride and, you know, with each and every chapter.